with Glenn Seaton in the Ford Credit Falcon. Working very, very hard. He's the race leader. Made a brilliant start. Got past the two cars on the front row and has held pride of place since then, despite all of the mayhem that's been going on behind him. Oh, talk about mayhem behind him. How close do you want to get? Larry Perkins all over the back bumper of Bow's car. It's going to be a drag race in a straight line. Six laps to go. Perkins, plenty of mumbo in a straight line. Look at the battle damage on the back of Bow's car. And there is no lack of squirt from that Perkins Chevy V8. Well, Perkins was flashing the lights at, uh, at Bow a couple of times, certainly in the braking area. And I think the signal was, uh, okay, I've tried it nicely for a couple of laps. Now I'm going to come straight through you if you don't get out of my way. And uh, he's going now Larry can press on. This is the battle of the privateers. John Faulkner, Stephen Richards in 11th and 12th positions overall. By Jeep, what a scrap they had in the second heat. They're continuing on right here. And in the same position for the moment. Right. <laughs> Interesting to one to watch towards the end of the race. This is our race leader, Glenn Seaton in the Ford Credit Falcon. And the engine drama in the opening heat. But again, he's had to fight his way back brilliantly back of the grid to fourth position in heat two now he finds himself leading heat three larry's really not getting away from the uh, uh from the dick johnson racing car much the shell car is doing very well they've got lounge and brock very close to them i think lounge has got past brock now and he's on the the back of bow but um there's five laps to go so it'll be interesting to see what happens four sorry four laps to go 16 down and just uh Brad's saying there, the HRT cars are very, very quick. Everyone running in the 57, 58 second bracket. They just filled up a couple of 56s. Just quite incredible. The last heat of, uh, after all the work these tyres have had. Keep in mind, just three points between these two guys for the championship. Craig Lowndes in car 15, John Bow in car number one. Oh, look at this. Lowndes up the inside as they come up toward the flip-flop. Bow wasn't oh. doing anything oh. And that's what gives it its name. You can see the car flip-flopping as he goes through there, bouncing it off the curbs. Two wheels right up in the air. Bow desperate to stay in front of Lowndes, whatever happens in this race. 57-9 for our race leader, Glenn Seaton. This is the pack running. Oh, about the 57-58 second brackets. There's not a huge amount between them. But they are a long way down the track. 1.6 seconds the gap now. Look at this. Bow covering all these options here. He's making Craig, uh, if he's going to go by, he's going to make him do it the hard way, which is the long way around. Bow just flips his lights on there as well. See that bump in the middle of the straight. The car's almost in to get airborne. They get a lot of air under them as they attack that bump. Back to second gear. Bow still on the inside. Lounge with the lights on, but that's not intimidating. Our reigning champion, Bow, equal to the task, fighting back as Lowndes tries to get himself back to the pointy end of the grid. And they're actually hanging right onto Larry. He's certainly not uh, getting away from him by any strange stretch of the imagination. If Bow and Lowndes finish the way they are now, Lowndes will still lead the championship, but by only one point. Look at this attack on the outside. Really deep under brakes. He's just in front, but he's gone a little bit wide. You can see he was right beyond the limit of adhesion. He managed to pull it back, but that's let his teammate Brock get right behind him now as they attack the shell forward from behind. Two laps to go. And they're closing up on Russell Engel. Some of the best five-litre racing we've seen at Calder Park Raceway in Melbourne as the laps run out for Holden Racing Team. 4.4 kilometre track, it's over nine kilometres to do something about this. Here comes Lowndes again down the outside as they head into Repco turn. Our championship leaders, John Bow and Craig Lowndes, they touch doors. Flames belching from the exhaust of Lowndes car as Brock takes advantage of Lowndes' slow quarter exit speed there. He moves up a position. Oh, Tony Long has hangs on as well. Sigh of relief by John Bauer. Yeah. Just for the moment. I'll be oh. to see if there's any team orders here to see if they get Brock to pull over and let Craig by to get the extra points. Well, no, Brock, he's still not out of this championship yet, I don't think. Unless Lowndes can get by Brock, the positions will be reversed and Bauer will lead the championship by one point. <laughs> getting tough at the top. Out of the pitch straight. One lap to go. One more to go. Now the order. Seaton, Ingle, Perkins, Bow, Lowndes, Brock, Longhurst, Scape, Gardner and Johnson. And look at this attack from Lowndes up the inside. He tries it again. That's plenty, Brock. Plenty of top end speed. That's Brock and Lowndes too. Two of them. Brock's posted out wide. HRT attack in stereo. They're all over the Shell Falcon. He's got the... Oh, oh. He's a big collision there. As he hits the inside of Brock's car, Lowndes now takes advantage of Brock's misfortune. He ducks up the inside, and they're not out of ammunition yet. Can Bauer stall Lowndes off for another half lap? Well, he's the best blocker in the business, so uh, oh, four is... corners to go. Let's see how we go. I think there's going to be a big desperate run up here to the Shell S's for the final time. 
Bauer covers his territory on the inside. Lowndes goes for a big desperate run on the outside. Out the back of Seaton's car. He's all close in the gap. Some ground up. Oh. Oh, Lowndes is off the road. Oh, dear me, that's not good at all. He must have had a big go at uh, Bauer around the outside there and uh, didn't pay off. Well, Lang Seaton has won the race. Russell Engel has crossed the line in second place. And uh, the battle between Bauer, Lowndes and Brock has helped to bring them all unstuck one way or another there, right at the death. One of the best we've seen. Fabulous race. Glenn Seaton, the winner there in the Ford Credit Racing Falcon. Russell Engel in second, Larry Perkins in third, John Bell hang on for fourth, and Peter Brock in fifth position. Sixth was Tony Longhurst, Craig Lowndes fighting back to seventh, Mark Scape in eighth, Wayne Gardner in ninth, 